YouTube, ZK Master Tech here. If you're new to the channel, my name's Zeth. Uh, we got a rain day here at uh, Sloan, so we're gonna go ahead and work on some tractors on the farm that are in the shed waiting for the fields to dry up. We got a 9460RT that the customer says the AC isn't blowing cold, so let's take a look at it. Here's the beast right here. Tucked away cozy in the shed. Let's look for leaks on this thing. Usually where these things leak are on the AC compressor. Okay, we got the side shield off. Looks like to me we got a leak on the front seal on this compressor and it's blowing back this way from the fan. You can see there's just dirt and oil everywhere on this compressor so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a compressor coming and get this thing evacuated and put a new compressor on it and uh, get it charged up and then this thing should be good to go Ooh wee this is a nice planting rig Got the American flag on there 1775 NT that is a sweet planting rig hooked up to a John Deere 8400R. My opinion, this is the best tractor, row crop tractor Deere's made since the 8430. Having really good luck with these 8400Rs. They are just an absolute beast in the field. I love them. All right, it's a little dark in this shed. Get the Milwaukee Rover floodlight. Look at that. Boom. Let there be light. You guys seen on my channel, I use uh, a lot of Milwaukee tools. Um, if it's red and shiny and new, I have to have it. I'm kind of a Milwaukee tool freak. So um, you're going to see a lot of Milwaukee tools on the channel. Uh, stay tuned. I'm probably going to do some uh, videos on my Milwaukee collection. So uh, look forward to that. I uh, got parts ordered. Someone's going to deliver it to me. I'm going to go ahead and get this compressor off. And there's also a 9620 in the shed that I need to check the SCV coupler. So let's go ahead and get the pressure evacuated out of the system and get this compressor off and then hopefully parts will show up. All right, one thing you want to check on these con compressors is to see if these lines are tight. They're only being held on by this little C-clamp and a bolt. But if you can move this back and forth the engine vibrates and eventually wears this o-ring out and it'll start leaking out there. This one just maybe barely moves. This one doesn't move at all, which this one usually leaks the most. So they're tight. It looks like everything's coming from here, blowing back. But that's one thing you guys want to look out for is how tight these lines are into the compressor because it'll cause a leak too. Got new snap-on AC gauges. Um, first time I'm using them here. We're gonna try them out, see how they do. I had a master cool set that lasted, a, I don't know, probably eight years or so. Um, I was just tired of replacing parts and stuff on it. It was getting harder to find the couplers and the other rings. And I decided I was gonna go with snap-on since I can get better support that way. So um, we'll see how I like them. So far, they're pretty, uh, really pretty nice and shiny and um, I like how it's got these rubber protectors around the gauges that's pretty nice so far I like them okay while we're waiting on parts for the 9460 RT we're gonna go ahead and work on this 9620 RX customers complaining that number two is leaking off going through the field pulling this 2660 VT tool here this massive monstrosity of awesomeness so we're gonna pressure check the couplers and see if they hold pressure and uh, if they're not holding pressure then we're gonna go ahead and replace the couplers um, if that doesn't fix it then it's got to be on the toolbar side so We'll get, uh, I got a guy coming to bring me an adapter I need to hook up into these couplers to test the pressure and then I'm gonna have him help me test it. So hopefully it's just a couple couplers and we can just fix it real easy. All right, got 
got Steven here helping me. We're gonna test the pressure on this uh, coupler. There's number two back. Looks like we're going up to about 3,000 psi on the gauge. Now, if there was a leak, I just let go. It, it would just drop like this. But I let go of the SCV lever, and it's just holding. It does that on both sides, so I don't think it's the SCV. Okay, so the pressure check on number two couplers on the 620 is good. Um, we can't really do much more with it today. Uh, we need to get it outside and get it unfolded and uh, get it in the field so we can actually see what the problem is with it, see what's uh, bleeding off, what the customer's complaining about. And then uh, it might have a problem or a leak in the tool itself. I do know that it's working fine coming out of the SCV of the, the 620. So. Um, we're just going to have to look at that when we get the tractor back in the field. So I got a compressor for the 9460 RT. Let's get that on. You guys hear this noise? That is the wind vibrating the metal on this building and making it vibrate. Kind of crazy. Putting a vacuum on the system. Well, we got about 25, 26 inches of vacuum. Alrighty. And we're sucking her down hard now. Almost pegged at 30 inches of vacuum. What putting the system under a vacuum does is it lowers the boiling point of water to ambient temperature. So it also evacuates all the refrigerant and gas that's in the system itself, but it also um, puts the system under a vacuum, which uh, boils the water, the moisture out of the system. All right, so the system is under a vacuum and we got our AC gauges hooked up. We got our tank on digital scale and zeroed out. So we're just gonna open up our valves here and then weight will start being subtracted on the scale here and we're gonna run it to five and a half pounds and shut it off. All right, that's as much as we can get in it statically charging it, 2.6 pounds. So we got the engine running, we're gonna open up the low, have the high side closed, we're gonna open up the low side. Yeah. 